In this example, we want to find the equation of the tangent line of the given function at the point 1, 1. Okay, so we're going to, um, so the first thing we need to do is to find the derivative. Okay, and then using the derivative, that will allow us to find the slope of that tangent line. And then from there, we can um, find the equation of that tangent line. Okay, so that's the first step. Okay, we need to find the derivative of this function. We'll find the derivative of square root of x. And we're going to do that by using this limit definition that you see here in the box. Okay. So we're going to have the limit of square root of x plus delta x minus square root x all divided by delta x. So we're going to take the limit of this as delta x approaches 0. Okay. So to do this, um, we need to use the conjugate because if we do a direct substitution here, so if we plug in delta x equal to 0, uh, we're going to get uh, root x minus root x all divided by delta x. So this is going to give us... Um, so we end up getting uh, 0 over 0, okay? So this is an indeterminate result, okay? All right, so first thing is to, uh, let's go ahead and simplify this expression here, okay? Okay, so we have, let's do that over here. So we have square root of x plus delta x minus square root x all divided by delta x. So we're going to take this and multiply it by its conjugate, which is going to be uh, the conjugate of the numerator, which is going to be square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x. Okay. Okay, so we need to divide by the same expression. Otherwise, we'd be changing the problem. Okay. So, all right, so we have, okay, so we're going to take these and multiply them out, okay, so for the top part, uh, we're going to get, um, so we're going to do that, let's do that down here, so we have square root of x plus delta x minus square x, okay, times square root of x plus delta x plus root x. Okay, so that's coming from the numerator. So we're going to take this times this one. Okay, and then this times this. Okay, and then we have, uh, we have to take this times this one, and then this times this one. Okay. So basically just distributing it out. Okay, so first we have uh, x square root x plus delta x times square root x plus delta x. So that's going to give us x plus delta x. Okay. Uh, then we're going to get, let's do this down here. Let's make some room. So we're going to get x plus delta x. Then we're going to get minus square root x times square root of x plus delta x. And then we have plus root x times square root of x plus delta x. And then we have square root x times square root x, which leaves us with a minus x. So this is going to give us um, x plus delta x minus x. So all this is going to cancel out. Okay, and that leaves us with x plus so that will leave us with x plus delta x minus x. So that's going to leave us with a delta x. Okay. So going back to the limit now. Okay. So our limit is. Okay. So we're going to take the limit of delta x. Okay. All right. So this was. So delta x is coming from multiplying the numerator. So we get delta x in the numerator. And then divide by delta x 
times square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x. Okay, so this was the whole point of taking the conjugate is because this will allow us to cancel out the delta x here. And so then we're left with the limit as delta x approaches zero of one over the square root of x plus delta x plus root x. So doing a direct substitution, we get one over, okay, delta x, this is zero, okay, as delta x approaches zero. So we're going to end up getting 1 over 2 root x, okay? So that is the derivative of, the, of our function. So the derivative of square root of, square root of x. Okay, so, so we have f prime of x. So the derivative of our function is equal to 1 over 2 root x. So then now we can use this uh, to find our slope. So that's the next step. Okay, so we're going to use or evaluate the derivative. Okay, so evaluate the derivative function at our point, our point at x, which was 1. Okay, so f prime of 1, okay. So this is going to give us our slope, okay? So I'll just write this as, okay? So the slope is going to be, e, the slope of the tangent line is going to be the um, derivative evaluate one. So that's going to give us one half, okay? So that is our slope. So now we just need to find the y-intercept, um, okay? So we can use, okay, we can use either um, there's two equations we can use to find the to find the equation of the tangent line so that's the last step okay so we can either use the point slope form or the uh, slope intercept form. Okay. And I can do, um, I can, uh, I can wor I'll work out both of these. Okay. So we have the slope. Okay. So, all right. And we have our point. Okay. So our slope was one half. Right, and we're interested in finding the equation of the tangent line through one one. Okay, so there's our x and y value that we can use. Okay. Okay, so first using the uh, point slope form. Okay, so okay, we're going to get y. Okay, minus 1, okay, and when x is 1, y is 1, so we have y minus 1 equals to 1 half times x minus 1. Okay, so basically that is, right, that is an equation of line. Uh, now we can go ahead and uh, solve for y, or we can write this in explicit form. Uh, we can do that by distributing the 1 half and then moving the 1 over. So we're going to get y equals to uh, 1 half times x minus 1 plus 1 and then we can go ahead and distribute the 1 half okay so we get y equals to 1 half x plus 1 half okay so that is the slope of our uh, I'm sorry the equation of our tangent line so now we can um, I can I want to use this form and we should be able to get the same answer. So this is the slope intercept form. Of a line. Okay. Okay. So we again we have our slope. Okay. So it's 
Uh, so we have y equals to one half x plus b. Okay. So again, we can use this to find to to find the value of b. So we just have to substitute in for x and y. So we're going to get one equals to one half times one plus b. So therefore, we have one equals to one half plus b. So that means b is going to be equal to one minus one half. And so that gives us one half. Therefore, the equation of our tangent line is y equals to one half x plus one half. Okay. All right. So that's the equation of the tangent line using uh, these uh, using two approaches. Okay. So down here is the is the graph of the square root of x that we have in blue, and red is the um, equation of the tangent line that we just found. Okay. All right, so you can see that this tangent line intersects at only one point on this function, okay? All right, so as you look, so the, for the points that get, for the for the x values that are around one, um, the if you compare the y values with the, uh, of the, the y values of the tangent line with the y values of our, of our function, you, as you, as x gets closer and closer to one, the y values start to uh, approach each other. Okay. All right. But keep in mind that the, the tangent line intersects at only one point of, of the function and that occurs at one in this case. Okay. So if you plug in x equals to one into the tangent line, you're going to get the value of one. If you plug in one into the square root of x, square root of one is one. Okay. So that is the uh, so that is how you get the equation of the tangent line. Okay. So first you find the derivative of the function. In this case, we use the limit definition. Okay. Um, and sometimes you may have to use the conjugate like this. Okay, to find the limit. Then you evaluate the derivative at the point that's given. Okay. And then using either the point slope form or the slope intercept form. Um, you can find the equation of the tangent line, okay? So you plug in the information that you obtained from step two. So from step two, we got the slope and we're given the point. So you plug those into here to get the equation of the tangent line, okay?